Hello everyone, welcome you all to the Achievers Adda 24 by 7. So if you are preparing for UGC net exam, please do subscribe to this channel and uh, do not forget to join in our telegram group and various social media platform from the link given in the description. And do uh, download our uh, Achievers Adda link up uh, for more free videos and uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can also attend the quizzes also on daily basis for the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce. So here, as part of the new concept series of UGC net paper 1. Here today I am with another concept that is air quality index AQI, air quality index and the WHO World Health Organization guidelines with respect to air quality. So this is an important question from the people and environment unit number 9 people and environment. So from that unit, you can expect this question and ranking of India and what are the uh, cities which are vulnerable to the air quality in India as per the WHO guidelines as well as the ranking of AQI and parameters of AQI and uh, we are going to discuss in detail. Just maintain a concentration throughout the video. Please watch the entire video, then only you will understand the total concept. So here. Usually, uh, if you have not yet downloaded our learning app, you can download from the link given in the description. So, the uh, in Play Store, you can type Achievers Adda 24 by 7. Here, before going into the air quality, most important update is that in 2023 World Air Quality Report 2023, in India, from India, Delhi is reported as a fourth most polluted country, or most polluted city in the world. So, as per the World Air Quality Report 2023, from India, Delhi city got fourth most polluted city in the world. After that, after see, initially Ch uh, Chiang Mai in Thailand, Kathmandu, Nepal and Cheyanga in China, these are the top three countries and fourth, uh, top three cities and fourth city in the world is that Delhi is a fourth city in the most polluted cities. So, this usually a world air quality report will give you global air quality situation across the various cities in the world. So, air quality, see regularly every day the air quality will be checked up by central pollution control boards and the air quality standards will be there where they will compare the air quality with the standards. Based on that, the ranking will be given. So, if you look at this is a previous year question recently in June 2023 examination. And which of the following uh, index will be treated as a moderate air quality? Like that, moderate they asked. And in the option, 551 to 100, 101 to 200, 201 to 300, like that they have mentioned. Four options. So, in June 2023, this was the question. Simple question, if you know this index. So, if the air quality is between 0 to 50, then it is categorized as a good category, good air quality. 51 to 100 satisfactory. Okay, okay, fine. 101 to 200 air quality index represents moderate category of air quality. And below the, uh, above the 200, that is 201 to 300, poor. 301 to 400, very poor. And dangerous or severe is that 401 to 500. 401 to 500, this index is more important. Second area of question. So, World Health Day, every year 7th April, we will be celebrating uh, World Health Day. So, WHO released a new air quality database, even in 2023 also they have released, but almost it is same, no changes. Almost entire global pollution, 99% almost breathes, breathes air that exceeds the WHO guidelines. Whatever the WHO air quality limits are there, 99% of the world population we are breathing above the WHO guidelines air quality only. Air quality above the WHO guidelines that only we are breathing 99% of the crowd across the world. So, what are the WHO limits actually? If you look at, so here NO2, nitrogen dioxide, NO2. For the first time WHO defined the measurement, ground measurement for the concentration of NO2. It includes measurement of particulate matter PM 2.5 and PM 10. Two diameter sizes will be there. The, in the air quality, two. So, based on the diameter size, 2.5 fine particle, uh, 
10 pm 10 is an ultra fine particle will be there so in the nitrogen no2 and it includes pm 2.5 pm 10 both pm 10 both these are considered in the air quality index calculation okay WHO highlights the importance of curbing the fossil fuel in use and taking the other tangible steps. Taking the other tangible steps. So, here if you look at WHO highlights the importance of curbing the fossil fuel like uh, from the vehicles. We use the petrol, we use the crude oil. From that we will be generating so much of pollution, air pollution will be happening. So, to stop that fossil fuel pollution, WHO has taken various uh, initiatives. So, in the 2021 World Air Quality Report, which we have seen in 2023, Delhi is the fourth most polluted. India, in 2021, from India, 11 to India, uh, India was a home to 11 of the 15 most polluted cities. Out of the 15 most polluted cities, 11 are from India only. That much air quality uh, less is there in India. Vulnerable situation. So, it is happening because of the the unhealthy air, unhealthy air is nothing but almost in 117 countries of the 6,000 cities in 117 countries. Now, WHO is monitoring, but still 6,000 cities are breathing in 117 countries unhealthy levels of fine particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide that is NO2, while people in low and middle income countries suffer the highest exposure of this air quality. So, high income countries not much suffering. And increase the collection of data. 2,000 more cities also uh, and human settlement now recording at a ground monitoring of data. As compared to the 2018, now the data is more increasing with respect to the air quality collection. And because of the air pollution, what are these impact? Impact is going to be, you know, human body, inside the human body, first impact is that lungs, respiratory diseases will cause. Here, particulate matter PM 2.5 is having a cap capacity of penetrating the deep into lungs. That is what respiratory diseases. When PM 2.5, when we breathe it, na, it will impact on the lungs. It will enter into the blood stream also, blood circulation streams also. And it can cause cardiovascular diseases and cerebrovascular diseases. Stroke also can happen and respiratory impacts. Respiratory is nothing but lungs. Cardiovascular and uh, cerebrovascular uh, diseases so can happen and because of the NO2 nitrogen dioxide asthma and uh, respiratory symptom like a uh, coughing wheezing difficulty in breathing you can't able to breathe properly so these are the impact of NO2 pollution now new air quality guidelines by the WHO says key pollutant key air pollutants we need to concentrate like PM 2.5 PM 10 and NO2 these things we need to control so, WHO classified total six classical pollutants. Those are PM 2.5 and PM 10. Ozone O3 is another pollutant. NO2 nitrogen dioxide. SO2 sulfur dioxide. And carbon monoxide CO. These are the three and ozone 4, PM 10 5, PM 2.5 6. Total six classical pollutants which are severely creating a air pollution if we can control these pollutants, automatically everything will come into normal. These are the uh, things, these are the pollutants which are creating a so much impact on air pollution and impacting on climate change also. If you look at new WHO global air quality guidelines, so PM 2.5, PM 10, O3, NO2, SO2, CO. Highest impact is that PM 10, PM 2.5. You can see 2005 levels, old one. Now new levels are... 5. So, it should not exceed the 5. 15. Annually 5. 24 hours maximum 15 only. It can exceed the production of the PM 2.5 they are saying. And here particulate matter 10 is saying PM 10 is 15 and 45. Ozone 3 60 and 100. NO2 10 and 25. SO2 40 and uh, CO will be 4. These are the limits per year and per, uh, uh, per 24 hours means one day. These are the new WHO global guidelines. This much they will not ask, but if they are going to ask now, they can hit the question from here. What are the air pollutant index which will be used in calculating the air quality index? There are six. Those are these only. PM 2.5, PM 10, ozone 3, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, carbon monoxide. 
and second area of question which is the most polluted city in the uh, india as per the world air quality index that is delhi and uh, these are the standards which you need to remember these are the expected questioning areas from this right if you like our content and if you want to start your preparation your ug senate at dra for december 2023 or else upcoming examination arjuna batch is going on which is a full revision chart of the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce all 10 units of both papers and paper 2 uh, commerce also topic wise previous year questions of paper 1 and paper 2 after completing a topic previous year question with a proper explanation of four options will be there 100% success assured quality equally useful for k set g set and w b set examination you can avail the batch course at a 4500 and only original price is 7000 now you can avail at a 4500 uh, only by using code arjuna a r j, uh, j u n a so if you use that code you will get at discounted price so in this revision charts will be there every pdf will be downloadable for the paper 1 and paper 2 revision charts previous year question on topic wise basis recent questions that to main emphasis on recent june 2023 all the shifts of questions december 2022 all the shifts of question is a main concentration and here recording will be available if you miss the live session monday to friday uh, one di and 10 mr questions will be solved dedicated doubt clearing session 10 to 15 practice questions on ongoing topic so mock test will be available before the 10 to 15 days of uh, exam you can get the mock test also when you are solving the questions in the class, you will get a poll and leaderboard also in the class, which is more interactive in nature. So, download our app from the Google Play Store or the link given in the description and uh, you can purchase the course. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the content, do hit a like button, share with your friends and join in our Telegram group. Thank you.